Hello, my beautiful Aries. I hope you all are doing amazing. Today, I'm going to be tapping into the energies of your love life. So it's going to be your general love reading for the week here. So pretty much whatever comes out for you guys. Okay, let's see. For my Aries. <clears throat> Access clear thinking. So this could be symbolic for many of you having some sort of, um, you know, a new beginning here, a start to a new cycle, could be a new way of thinking about a situation of the past, that sort of thing. But I also feel like with this card, guys, it could be that you and the person you're inquiring about are in this gray period, this period of maybe not knowing what you want to do moving forward, maybe not knowing what the future holds, maybe not knowing what each other, each of you are thinking at this time. But essentially, it is this energy of wanting to see past illusions and, and, and you know, making, wanting to come to some sort of firm grounds or a, a fir making a firm decision here. Okay, now... Aries, I will say with access clear thinking, if you are thinking about something in particular and it's bringing you a lot of confusion, I feel like it's because you're thinking about one thing, but you have like two or three different perspectives on it, okay? And if it's not your energy, it could be your person's, but I'm picking up on a party here who is thinking about one thing, but I'm seeing like a web. So it's like thinking about that one thing in various different ways and that alone can bring confusion. So whether that's advice for you, Aries, or my uh, cross, -watchers, cross watchers here, I do see that there's a need to kind of um, clearly communicate or clearly figure out what it is that you desire and not have so many ways that something could play out or so many uh, different perspectives on one thing. Okay, so pretty much an energy of narrowing things down. That's something that you guys can be doing right now. Let's see. Focus on higher truths. This is very interesting, guys. This card is also the number five. So essentially what I see here, um, Aries, is... Okay, mutually, there is this difficulty of overcoming some sort of change that took place between the both of you. We're going to clarify, we're going to see what that change is, but as far as I can see right now, with focus on higher truths, it's this energy of, okay, there may be a lot going on. So generically speaking, if you guys are in some sort of conflict, because the fives can sometimes be symbolic for conflict, um, or some sort of just mishap that or a hiccup that occurs between the, the uh, both parties here, right? Now... I feel like Focus on the Higher Truth talks about going maybe back to the time that you met this person or, or, you know, taking a trip down memory lane and you're trying to figure out, okay, why did you fall for this person, number one, and not in a negative way, guys, just kind of getting to the bottom of things, right? Um, you know, why did I fall for this person? Uh, you know, things were smooth. When did they stop or when did they start, you know, getting a little rocky? You know, what were the wrongdoings? What could I have, uh, you know, done differently? And for many of you, this is a card of not only weighing out the pros and cons, right? But deciding if the love is potent enough to outweigh the frustration, the anger, the sorrow. You understand what I'm saying, Aries? So it's almost like many of you are like, okay, I may be upset at this person. I may be frustrated, right? But what's the higher truth here? I do love this person, right? I do. I did put in a lot of effort here. I did put my best foot forward and I do um, want to build with this person for the future. So am I ready to let go of the anger, the sorrow, you know, that sort of thing. It's not just you, Aries, because the middle cards mean the mutual energy. So this is what both of you are thinking about, right? The higher truth of the bond here. For others of you, you could be kind of um, getting down to the bottom of this in a sense of you may feel like this bond was a catalyst for your growth in one way or another, but a lot of you feel like you want some sort of progress, some sort of movement, because the clock behind, you know, the man there lets me know that you're tired of wearing this mask, or you're tired of your person pretending, or the or just the pretend, uh, the the pretend like energy that's present right now. 
Your questions may be something along the lines of, you know, why are we wearing a facade? Why are we pretending like we don't care? Why are we pretending like we don't miss each other, right? Let's come together. Let's speak. You know what I mean? And with the clock there, again, a lot of you feel like the time is ticking. We don't have all, all day and we for sure don't have all of our, all of our life to get this together, you know? Um, and mainly it's because you feel like it's been very stagnant for a long time. But during this period of stagnancy, what makes it more difficult is the obstacles because it's like, okay, even if there is an obstacle, your question may be, why can't we overcome that? You know, if, if the emotions and if the love outweighs the, you know, uh, um, sorrow or the disappointment, why aren't we able to overcome this? Why are we still in a very still period, right? A stagnant period. Um, I feel like for many of you in the past, if it wasn't dishonesty, you feel like your person was either downplaying their emotions for you or there was some sort of mask that they kept on because it was someone who it is someone who is not comfortable being completely open with you because if you look at this card the mask is kind of on the side here and you see a little bit of this person right but they they're still hidden from the left side for me here and they're also holding um you know like an hourglass right it lets me know that maybe you did give this person some sort of ultimatum or you were waiting for this person to open up to you and be as open as you were with them right so maybe i'm picking up on you guys just being very patient right and you're like okay maybe this person is going to take a while to open up to me but you know i love you enough to wait you know love is patient love is kind i will wait you know that sort of thing but as time progressed or or things started to unravel you felt that this person was either number one taking way too long to open up to you or number two you weren't you couldn't grasp why this person wasn't able to open up to you especially for those of you that feel like you have created some sort of safe portal for this person to confide in you okay because it either led you to question what you're doing wrong or it upset you because you felt that you were doing everything in your power right to to get things off the ground you were doing everything in your power to have a positive outcome so at the end of it you probably felt discouraged because you were like you know what i actually don't have the energy to do anything anymore because i feel like i tried everything in the books to overcome these obstacles the main hiccup here um, my lovely aries could be that there was a lack of openness and and this is something that you guys could have sensed like when you speak to this person maybe you are paying attention to what they're not saying you know, um, you pay attention to their eyes, you pay attention to their tone, or there was this gut feeling that you had that this person wasn't being all the way open with you. And so what did that result in? Essentially, you questioning the um, authenticity of this person's emotions. So there was a lack of expression here that led to kind of a bump in the road is what I see so far. <clears throat> okay, let's see. practice positivity and we have the number 23 which is another five so some of you may be seeing uh, double fives and so that could be confirmation for you know um, overcoming change or overcoming an obstacle that feels like you were not able to overcome it but it could also be you know uh, an urge right or, or something prompting you to take some sort of action because you're tired of a stagnant energy it's like when you see a uh, triple five, sometimes it could be that you're constantly thinking about something because it bothers you mentally or emotionally, but it's time that you find a solution. So whether the solution is to, you know, speak to this person about it, or you feel like time is ticking and the solution is for you to let go of it, right? It's going to vary because it is a general reading, but as far as practice positivity goes, it just lets me know that I feel like both of you have been in a very um, stressed out space, right? I don't want to say, you know, you, you're negative all the time or anything like that, but maybe, you know, as of lately, the days were a bit harder, right? And that's fine. Your emotions are valid. You know, not every day is going to be the best day ever, right? But I do see that there is this energy of you guys trying to maybe be more positive about things. Um, you guys could be receiving some sort of clarity that brings you to, uh, uh, some sort of optimism, right? Because with the sun there, I do kind of... Um, get that energy of that sun card so when we have the sun and the moon it lets me know that even though there's a lot of that's hidden from you or not hidden from you or even even just emotions of your person that are suppressed the other things that are being illuminated to you you're trying to derive some sort of comfort from it or you're deriving some sort of happiness from it because you're looking at it this way you're like okay even if your emotions are suppressed in the grand scheme of things i know that there's emotions here right so when you look at it in a positive way it's almost like 
a renewal of hope, right? Or having faith that you guys, you know, this person would be more open with you or you guys would have that, you know, much needed conversation take place. Alrighty, let's see here. Access clear thinking. <clears throat> of cups beautiful so i feel like in order to have this you know soulmate bond in order to um you know come together here there needs to be an energy of seeing past illusions the two the two of cups essentially talks about two people that work well together actually extremely well together right and it's also that you guys are thinking about each other you guys may be thinking the same things at this time right missing each other whether it's you know being reminded of the same memories that sort of thing but there's some sort of it's, it's like i see two two uh uh you know um people here and kind of like a line connecting them so and the line is um by their uh uh you know uh head head area so it's letting me know that it's what you guys are thinking about that's that seems to be aligned. So you're thinking about the same thing, whether it's missing each other, you know, craving each other's attention, um, you know, looking looking forward to the future, wondering what the future holds, right? That sort of thing. But the Two of Cups is not only two people that work well together, it's two people that feel extremely deep for deeply for each other. And what I mean by that is this could be an energy of every single thing reminding uh, this person of you this could be that even even if this person you know bumps into anyone you know they always compare that person to you like anything that goes on in their life or anything that makes them happy they feel like nobody or nothing you know brings them emotional fulfillment as you do the two of cups is a very strong energy um emotionally right it's like feeling empty without that person and i know that's a bold claim guys but essentially it's like when you're really in love with someone, you're probably going to want to be with that person and it's going to be hard for you to kind of just find that emotion um, in someone else or in another bond at least right away. And with the Two of Cups, this seems to be that you have history with this person. They have a lot of emotion for you. Um, they're missing you. Uh, with the moon, again, this is something you guys are either not communicating or if you guys are speaking to each other, um, the emotions are not being expressed right now. It may be conversations on like a topical level, that sort of thing. Um, and the other thing I want to mention is it seems that your person views this connection to be very beautiful because, you know, despite your differences, you guys were able to come together. I am getting that here. So I feel like, you know, this person, uh, when they pinpoint, you know, things in your relationship, they find that to be very, you know, something that they admire. Okay. This is someone who wants to be in your presence right now. Like they're really craving your presence, um, you know, your touch, just communicating with you, that sort of thing. Being in your company. Wow, Ten of Cups, focus on higher truths. Okay, so essentially, Aries, it seems that when you guys mutually think about um, this connection, you guys are focused on, okay, well, even if we're upset at each other, we have built way too much together to let, let go of this. Whether you guys have a family together or that's just something you guys spoke about, the Ten of Cups, especially with the Two of Cups, is so powerful. You know, if you guys are not in communication, um, I can only imagine, I can only imagine how tough that feels because this is very potent, guys. You know, um, I feel like your person, you know, even if there is some sort of misunderstanding here, like we did speak about the fives, um, you know, uh, overcoming some sort of obstacle, they're thinking about the bigger picture. They're like, okay, even if we're upset right now, in the grand scheme of things, I want to spend my forever with Aries. I don't see myself with anyone else. And, and I feel like that's the energy between the both of you because it's the middle cards. I'm actually really shocked that we have the Two of Cups and the Ten of Cups as your first two cards because your first two cards um, in tarot are usually the most powerful. So that's what's currently going on when it comes to the emotions. Some of you can be involved with a water sign, so like a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, or I'm just picking up on an energy of someone who is very focused on how they feel about you. And you know, I find this very interesting because... We touched on this person not being open about their emotions. And for some of you, it's there could be some sort of intimidation factor here or this person feels like they've never felt for anyone this way before. And so if they're having a hard time fathoming their emotions on their own, they are having a hard time verbalizing them to you. 
right? Or showing you how they feel. Um, but this is someone who, you know, really does desire you. But more than that, I feel like I don't think this is just a, a desire. I think this is a very deep emotion. Like, I, I feel like this person is in love with you. That's what I see here. And I usually don't like to throw around, you know, um, things like that. But I do see that because two of cups, ten of cups, I, you know, need I say more here, right, guys? Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. And it's like this person thinks about you all the time and they think about a commitment with you and, you know, just their emotions for you. And, and what I'm, uh, you know, predominantly getting here is everything reminds them of you. Like, even if you guys are speaking, um, maybe you guys have, um, you know, busy schedules and you guys kind of speak in the morning or you guys send each other kind of like a good morning text just as a gener generic example. But as their day goes on, they're just constantly thinking about you. They're constantly wondering what it is that you're up to. Like, this is someone who cares about the details of your day. Like, not this is not someone who would be like, oh, okay, well, Aries, what did you have for lunch? You know, there's someone who, who wants to actually know what you had for lunch. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's someone who really just... Like the emotions are very deep here is what I'm sensing. Ten of Wands. You know, it could have been that because of this obstacle for some time, you guys viewed it as uh, this bond being burdensome or, or maybe you questioned if this is coming to an end with that Ten of Wands. But for many of you, this could be letting me know that maybe one cycle is ending so you can have a brand new cycle with this person, okay? Um, because we do have a double tens here. But, you know, in the past, it could have also been that you, the main thing you wanted from this person was for them to share the responsibility with you. You, you wanted them to not only be more open, but you wanted things to be more of a two-way street is what I'm sensing here. Okay, Aries. Now, I also see here that your person views you as someone who, you know, takes accountability for your actions. Maybe even someone who was always very quick and very open to fix things when they felt like they were going wrong. Okay, so not only is this person inspired by you, there is this energy of them questioning, hey, you know, is Aries going to want to pursue this again? Is Aries, does Aries still view me or do they still view this connection as something that can be rekindled? Okay, so this could be the questions that are crossing your person's mind, especially if there's a lack of expression going on right now. You know, even if the Ten of Cups is in the emotions, is that something you guys are speaking about? Or is that something that both of you are, are kind of feeling and you know you're feeling that way, but you're not really saying it to each other, right? So then when you're not communicating it, it, it makes, it raises a lot of questions. It raises a lot of doubtful energy that wouldn't be present if, you know, said party was being open about their emotions, right? Okay, Two of Cups, let's see. I see guys I'm very focused on your middle card there that talks about the higher truths because I don't see okay like when you see the ten of wands and the knight of cups in reverse yes the knight of cups in reverse could be someone who maybe hurt you emotionally in the past or someone who's having a hard time apologizing but what I will tell you is I feel like the purpose of the spread is that your person is focused on how to fix things or the bigger picture. So even if in the past they know that they should should have apologized for something, they're still focused on the two of cups. Because as much as the knight of cups is in reverse, they are regretting emotional manipulation or being dishonest or not apologizing to you. But they're viewing you guys as the two of cups, which means they still feel that they can work on things. They still feel that they're just more so focused on, okay, what are we going to do for the future? Because I want to spend my future with you. Do you understand what I'm saying? And Aries, for some of you, you know, maybe you feel like there needs to be an apology that comes forward before, you know, this commitment or, uh, you know, this discussion about emotions here. But again, in the past, this is someone who didn't acknowledge your emotions and who could have downplayed their own emotions because it's a pretty persistent message that I'm getting from the Knight of Cups as well as, um, you know, the higher truth uh, card there. So Ten of Cups, let's see. For some of you, you may have felt that this person was, if it wasn't that they were, you know, not emotionally open, it could have been that you feel in the past they were emotionally unavailable. You know, they, their attention was divided or, you know, um, it's someone who was only communicating with you here and there or when it was convenient for them. So these are things that they want to change. Ten of Cups, let's see.
It's almost like this desire to put away anything that they feel or put aside anything that they feel is petty or not serving them because they're focused on the fact that, hey, what matters to me is this commitment or what matters to me is the um, the future of this connection. Like I don't want to, you know, uh, potentially lose Aries over something like, you know, a lack of expression or, or, you know, they feel like what happened was either petty or they could have avoided it. Okay, 10 of cups. Guys, I can't make it up. We like we have four cups here. The Knight of Cups is the only one in reverse, so it talks about pretty much what I touched on, either emotional manipulation or failing to apologize. But King of Cups, guys, this person may do a good job at keeping their emotions intact because the King of Cups is not someone who necessarily wears their emotions on their sleeve, but that's because they have an overflow of emotions. I feel like if you're communicating with this person, it's it's going to be, you're not going to wait a long time before they actually, you know, tell you their emotions. Like this is like an overflow or an outpour of emotions. It's also someone who feels for you very deeply, but they want to take more of a logical approach so that you can be convinced that they're actually trying to do something about it. It's like this person in their mind, guys, they feel like if they operate solely off of emotions you won't believe it or it would come off as something along the lines of love bombing i hope i'm making sense i'm not saying that they don't have emotions for you that's the furthest thing from the truth but i'm saying that they don't want to operate from a space of emotions because they either they they're not comfortable with being vulnerable like we spoke about number one or number two they feel like that's not going to um, convince you that this is something that will be stable for the long haul like they want to show you in a more practical logical mature way right okay ten of wands and it's someone who's trying to emotionally mature for you as well because the night of from going from the night to the king is a big jump guys right so maybe you feel like in the past this is something you communicated to this person hey like i do love you and there's a lot of emotions here but i really can't deal with the in and out energy i really can't deal with the fact that you only want to communicate with me when it's convenient for you i need someone who's stable and in it for the long haul so i see a lot of like internal changes that this person's making like if this person wants you to per you know wants you to perceive them as some, like a changed individual and someone who is open with their emotions but not overly open where you're questioning if you know they're love bombing you or just saying things to be in your good graces so i i view this individual as extremely premeditated okay ten of wands Yeah, I, I see things, uh, you know, turning in your favor or, you know, both of you seeing eye to eye. The judgment's always a good thing because it's pretty much what you're deserving of or what you're not deserving of coming to light, right? Um, and it also talks about your person actually leaving their comfort zone. Even if it's that you guys are not speaking with that 10 of wands or there was some sort of ending, they're leaving their comfort zone in order to see different results, right? The only con I see here is maybe some of you are upset about, you know, an apology that you want to come into fruition, okay? Or something like emotional manipulation that occurred in the past. But the current energies, I do see someone who is trying to fix their behavior or who is trying to figure out what is the best way to express their emotions to you because they are operating from a pretty vulnerable state here because we predominantly have the cups, okay? So my wonderful uh, Aries, I really do hope you were able to find a message that resonated with you here today. And uh, thank you so much for your time.